Welcome to the Porn Reboot Podcast, where you get practical tips to gaining control over your porn or sex addiction. I'm your host, J.K. Amazi, Certified Sex and Porn Addiction Recovery Coach. Welcome to the episode. Today, we're going to be speaking briefly about failure. Now, I'm going to let you in on a little secret. <laughs> I can tell within the first two weeks of a client being in my reboot group how long it's going to take them to recover. And this is simply based on how they deal with minor slips early in their recovery. And the most common slips are things like repeatedly exposing yourself to high-risk situations. So always going on Instagram and looking at all these scantily clad women, getting on Twitter, Snapchat, usually social media. The next is not setting healthy boundaries and not asking for help when you get stuck, that's your ego, and of course, not practicing adequate self-care. You don't have to slip from some minor setback in order to address it. Early in your reboot, it's absolutely normal to view little slips as failures due to your, you know, this tendency to be hard on yourself. And this is very common with many of my clients because they are typically ambitious men who drive themselves hard and have very high standards for themselves. And what happens is that sometimes you may find yourself in this situation where these little slips begin to reinforce your negative view of yourself. And you feel that, man, it is so challenging for me to just live my life like a normal guy. Why can't I just control this behavior? Why is the behavior controlling me? And what this does is that it actually starts magnifying all your feelings of failure. And when you continue down this path, you'll eventually reach a point where this entire reboot journey seems overwhelming. I want you to know that slips are a normal part of the reboot process, and they happen for two simple reasons poor planning, and lack of coping skills. I'll say it again. Slips happen for two simple reasons. When we break it down without making this complex, you slipped either because you did not plan or you don't have the right coping skills. And the easiest way to move past this mindset is firstly to challenge your thinking by looking at your past wins. And secondly, to acknowledge the strengths that you bring to your reboot, right? So what does this do when you start looking at your past wins, when you're like, oh, instead of feeling like a failure and reinforcing your failures, you actually look back and find out, hey, you know what? I'm doing better than I've ever done before. Sure, I've slipped here and there. I haven't been perfect. But honestly, since I committed to this, so many things have changed. I have a great morning routine. I have a better understanding of this behavior than I have ever had. I have an accountability partner, and so on. And then taking the time to actually acknowledge your strengths in recovery. This is one thing that very few men do. And it's one of the first things I have my clients work on, their strengths, because many of you don't believe that you have any strength in this fight. You're like, yeah, I'm great at everything, but when it comes to this whole porn thing, I'm absolutely weak. No, what this does is that it gets rid of that all or nothing mindset. And that all or nothing mindset is when you tell yourself, you know what, I slipped again. So I slipped, therefore I'm a failure. That's it. The moment that you buy into this mindset, two things are going to happen. Firstly, you're going to get overwhelmed and then you're going to drop all your long-term goals in favor of short-term relief. The short-term relief, which is provided by orgasm from porn and masturbation. So I want you to remember this next time that you beat yourself up over a little slip. If you slip, make sure you do not slide. I'm JK, your brother in this struggle. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to this episode of the Porn Reboot Podcast. I'll speak to you later in the week.